Welcome to Rainbow Six Mythbusters episode 10. So the first myth is a welcome mat can trap you through a wall. So Pyrex is going to do his best attempts to wriggle around at the edge of this wall and we can see parts of his body clipping through, we can see legs and arms coming through. And if you look right now his leg just kind of pokes through, <laughs> it's really funny. And uh, we can't seem to get him to actually get caught on it. So what we decide to do is down him and we tell him to spin 360. Interestingly he was, he actually had his back to us and he wasn't clipping through the wall but he still got trapped. But here's a perfect example that actually happened to me when I was playing and if you you might have missed it because it was so damn fast, but I down Thermite, so he's injured on the other side of the wall. You can see right there his legs poking through and he gets trapped and killed through an indestructible wall. So that is confirmed. Attackers can avoid welcome mats placed too close to a window. So here we have a welcome mat placed right up against the wall and we got pirates coming in. Now we know that that will instantly kill him, but he managed to avoid it. Now the way Pirate said this worked was that you have to be pushing forward when you go in. So walking forward as you go in and that extra momentum seems to save you. Otherwise if you don't do that, it will still get you. So that is confirmed. You can destroy a welcome mat with a melee attack. Now this I didn't actually think would work because I thought you'd melee it and it would actually set it off and capture you. But you can actually melee attack a, a trap and win. So confirmed. You can pick up another player's ammo. So if you are right next to someone, when they die, you can pick up their ammo if they have the same gun. So it's quite elaborate, but it's confirmed. You can pick up people's ammo. Very hard to do though. Ash can take damage from her hair. So as you can see, Ash has a lot of hair and if we actually shoot it, it's not actually included in the hitbox, which is pretty sweet. Nice bit of detail, so that is busted. If you have less than 50% health, a welcome mat will kill you. So I'm using Twitch's drone to take Pyrex down to 20% health. And we've got a welcome mat for him. And will he survive? He will. So you can survive a welcome mat with less than 50% health. In fact, you can survive a welcome mat with far less than 50% health. So that is busted. Montang's extended shield reduces nitro damage. So we did a lot of tests at a lot of different distances and here's just a few of them. And unfortunately it appears that the shield extended doesn't reduce the damage from a nitro cell. It, you'll die at the same distance you would normally die with an undeployed shield. So that is busted. You can remove the garage doors in one piece. So this is a bit of a strange one I came up with. And this was kind of a while ago I thought about this. And I decided to go ahead and test it. So if you knock out a square, for instance, in the garage door, it actually falls to the ground and you can actually kind of play with it. Like you can kick it around and stuff and it's kind of cool. So I was wondering what would happen if you actually took off the entire garage door. So this is me taking off a little kind of rectangle of it and you can see how I can move it around. I think that's cool. So I thought, well, let's try the entire garage door. So I spent a good five to ten minutes knocking out the garage door which actually does look kind of cool once you've done it because it looks like it's defying gravity but it, it looks freaking sweet especially from inside like from outside it looks cool but inside it looks amazing i really like that it's like some modern art or some crap like that so if you then break the last bit, it unfortunately just disintegrates. It would have been awesome to have a massive piece of garage door that you could like push around the map, but it doesn't work. And you can see I was pretty sad. So that is busted. But can make an enterable hole in one shot. So this is a hole that you can actually get into a building via. And it is actually the case. He can fire one shot through and he can actually then vault in. You just have to do it at exactly the right kind of distance. Too far away, it won't be enough damage. Too close, it'll be too small a hole but it does work, so that is confirmed. You can throw the hostage off the roof. So this is um, me throwing the hostage off the roof. So you can't actually kill the hostage, but you will need to go revive them afterwards. So uh, it's kind of funny to do it. <laughs> so that's confirmed. The hostage will turn to look at drones. 
So if you get close to the hostage with your drone, the hostage will actually turn around to face you. So this is really cool. It appears to have a range of about two meters maybe, um, but the hostage will always attempt to turn around and look at you, which as a defender, maybe you can use, maybe you can use, I mean, if the hostage is looking in a certain direction, maybe you know that the drone might be there hiding, but because it's only a two meter range, it's not going to be particularly useful. But still, it might help. That is confirmed. Thanks for watching. It will not be long until we get episode 11 of Mythbusters for the new DLC Dustline. Can't wait.